part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's... This is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wade, writer of Superman Birdwine, and you're listening to The Krypton Report. Hey everybody, this is a fun episode you're about to listen to, but poor James did have a lot of technical issues. He drops out a couple of times. Um, so don't worry, <clears throat> we will probably be revisiting this for a future film or, you know, a year, five year reunion or something. But enjoy. Welcome to the Krypton Report and this very special commentary track. See, <clears throat> we love talking movies. We love talking about DC movies, and if anyone's part of our Patreon, this is like what we do on the Patreon. As well, one of the one of the several things that we do on the Patreon is we'll watch a DC film, and we'll make a commentary on it. And James and I were joking. It's like what? the closest. It's like the closest we get to watching movies together. Yeah, one <laughs> day, one day we will do a live like we will watch something. And do like a live commentary of us watching it for the first time. Like, what the, what, 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 what? Um, so um, <laughs> I have some ideas on how to pull that off. We'll, we'll figure it out sometime. But we decided joking around because we always do. We're almost done with all the DC films. We have The Suicide Squad left. And we have Aquaman and Wonder Woman 84. And Aquaman, we were holding off to do before the sequel, but since the sequel kept getting shifted around, it uh, we we hadn't got there. So when we were joking, we are going to do today Black Adam, which we thought would be fun to do a movie that's still in theaters, but it just became available to purchase at home. So I bought the digital copy, and I think here in a week or two it's going to be on HBO Max. And we've never done it like this this soon before, so we thought it'd be hilarious to do and also just kind of experience it together more as it's still new. Um, like James said, it's kind of us getting to watch it together, kind of like when you see a movie, then you tell your buddy, hey, we got to go see this, and you take them and you go see it again. So this is the closest that we have to that right now. So we thought this would be fun to do. And so that's what we're going to do as a... It's kind of a special good time here at Krypton Report. So I have it pulled up. And the just so everyone knows, we will be raffling off a copy of Black Adam here in January. So keep your on your socials. And as of this recording, we will be. Yes, because like, there's, there's just a little video going up on socials um, that I am recording this week to, to give you to put up for our um batman the batman the batman uh, christmas giveaway christmas giveaway yes and since we all loathe january except for that's the month that solomon was born praise god um we're giving away black adam in january but without further ado this movie's only two hours and four minutes so we don't have to suffer like we did uh <laughs> which is funny because it's four minutes longer than Justice League, and Justice League was like pain. This will be Breeze. So are you ready, James? I'm ready, yeah. Here we go. Well, that's why we got drunk to watch Justice <laughs> League. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> Check out the Patreon for that one. That one was a yeah. Was if you a want fun to hear, time. If you want to hear me slip up and go into where I uh, will just say things that are inappropriate because – it makes my wife laugh and in turn makes James laugh. But the fact that I said something that caught Jamie completely off guard and made her really laugh. I was proud of that one. Yeah. She's quiet in the background there. <laughs> she she didn't know what to expect, but we're going to go one, two, three play. So we basically are hitting play on four. So one ready, James. Yes. I'm ready. One, two, three and play. All right. Watching along with us. Warner brothers. Warner Brothers Discovery Company. See yeah, that? Black Adam. Got my captions on. It's always like that. I I actually really like the score for this film. 
Um, there's Batman throwing his battering. <laughs> Superman, the lasso, the trident, the cyborg. I, I love, okay, <laughs> I love this DC thing right here. And we'll probably get a new one now as they're coming DC films. But it needs its own theme music. There was conduct. 2600 before common error. I like the idea that like this whole like playing into history that conduct, you know, was even more ancient and very much the cradle of life type civilization. And I do want to say I love the colorization and cinematography for this film. Just that golden tones. But this is yeah. Okay. It was, it's the tones look good, but it's it looks better since they removed the the gold filter that they yeah. had over it. So I I do think it's interesting because this is we're getting the story right here. Um, is very much like a storybook type, just a child's. So we have the. I love this as the crown spinning. We see the demons in the background. Yeah, just a uh, just a silhouette of them and their eyes. Okay, so let me ask you this question: Eternium, this rare magical mineral, is here in conduct. Does that make you feel like the earthly kind of the earthly connection to the rock of eternity is in conduct? Like, if conduct's like the birth of civilization, like it's the birth of magic. Um. I believe so. Um, I believe that's actually why it's there because the Rock of Eternity is in Kanda. I see that's I mean, it not... does it does it's like earthly connection is Kanda, but it can kind of be anywhere it needs to be. Yeah, it's like in another realm slash dimension. Yeah. But that's that's how I took it. Cause you know, like I'm thinking Eternium. And then okay, here we have the little boy. No, okay, I don't, I don't want to spoil things too much ahead of time, but I got some thoughts I've been thinking that we'll get to. So this guy's trying to forge the crown of Sabak. Yeah, it's better not to get too far ahead. <laughs> I think they over, like, complicated some things here, but whatever. Oh, it's just the barbaric times, you're a slave, and even if you're... Like, yeah, this told, even this, if you do what you're you're what you're supposed to, you know, like this is your reward. Yeah, I kind of knew that. It made me think of like Dragonheart. Death is a release, not a punishment. Ah. And then this right here, like, I, I like. Can I just say I do think it's funny that they get Asher Angel to be, you know. Billy, not as Shazam, but for the rock, they just do like digital tech and shrink his face and, and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they Chris Evans, him from first Avenger. I do think it's interesting how they're trying to hide that. This is the rock here. This is a spoiler. People it is coming. The voice sounded exactly like him. Right. Like as should... soon as I heard it, I was like, Oh, I was like, I wonder if that's, I do, I do want to point out, as of this recording today, that How It Should Have Ended put up their How It Should Have Ended Black Adam. Oh, I didn't see that. I have to check that out. I love I actually, those guys. I had to go pick Salman up from school. He's having some stomach issues. And we were driving, and it popped up, so we watched it as we were driving. He got a kick out of it. It, w it was fun. Here they are doing the diamond cutter, the DDP. <laughs> <laughs> the diamond cutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <clears throat> that was big in the day I think now they just go with the RKO yeah <laughs> I just remember I remember going to uh, instead look at that I love that he's taken now you know the the actor who plays um, Octon he, that's the same guy who plays Bushmail and it's the same actor and i didn't realize that at first and honestly like until this watch mm -hmm. 
I didn't pay close enough attention, but especially in that shot when he like tell like when he grants his death or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, look at the t- look at the time table right here, real quick. We saw all the wizards, which was great. They're running the crown into him, and then here comes Black Adam walking in as he's putting the crown on, and then we see the temple being destroyed. Okay. I just want to point this out for times table purposes for my later uh, discussion, but it okay. looks like he, he well, was. It looks like he was taken when the boy was taken. He was taken to a temple. All right, smashing pumpkins with bullet with butterfly wings is amazing. It was awesome hearing it in the theater. But um, there's another person I'm I'm going to look out for. The person that plays Teth Adams' wife. And the person who plays the doctor, I want to call her Isis, but she's not really Isis right now. Um, Adriana. Yeah, if they're the same actress. Adriana Tomas. Because they are related, and it's it's pointed out here very subtly. Um, yeah, I mean, the only subtle thing that I caught was the necklace. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So she mentions the necklace being in her family. It's etern- it's Eternium, you know, that thing that He-Man fights for. And um, <laughs> and it's been in her family forever. But yeah, the same actor plays. Um, he's the guy, he's the same actor that played Jafar in Disney's Aladdin. Uh, yeah, who plays Ishmael? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I've only seen that movie once. Yeah, um, me too. So it's not I- something that I like. Um, and like strongly recall. Okay. Right there. Flash Wonder Woman, new f- rebirth comics. So is this taking place in 2016? <laughs> 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 like, but I do want to point out that this movie in the way it's structured fits in very well um, with the kind of universe that was created in Shazam. So even if you're not looking at the whole DC films and you're not applying my, post-crisis theory um what do you call it it fits well with the tone and everything that shazam established even as playful as shazam is it still it still works together yeah very much so um you know i mean as we discussed prior when we talked about the movie just about a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was, okay, we are in the first week of December. Today is December 7th. Yes. And the movie came out October, uh, October 21st. 21st. <laughs> we recorded like October 23rd or 4th our discussion. So here we are a little over a month. And we are watching it in the comfort of our own home. And as I told you earlier, it was time to take some pants off. I fly these planes. <laughs> oh man! You know the one thing that I find the hardest to believe in this whole movie: do kids still skateboard? Like, I don't know why I've I've created such a hate for like these shows. They're like kids. It just feels like a middle aged person trying to think what what are kids cool about skateboards, right? And I'm, like, and I'm just like I literally never see kids skateboard ever anymore. They even shut down the skate park here. Granted, it's not like that in every part of the world. But it's one of those things that people probably still do in California. And they're like, yeah, kids do that, man. Right. Then you go to, then you go to like every other state. Like, no, no, we don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> there is still a skate park around here. Um, not as many as there used to be. But um, Yeah, that necklace. Uh, her ancestor is wearing it um, in the flashback scene. Mm-hmm. Which makes me wonder, it's her ancestor. I don't think it's a, is it a direct ancestor? Because it looked like Black Adam only had one child um, that we know of. Did he have more than one child? Was Harut uh, out spreading, you know, gardening, you know, planting seeds? <clears throat> right. <laughs> so this scene here is like a um, <laughs> misdirect. Makes the dude there sitting in the middle. Um, can't remember what his name is. They'll say it here in a little bit. 
Because it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, now, this is cool just the way you see Inner Gang working, mining, industrial mining conduct for its natural resources. And it, it does make you feel like there's geopolitical stuff that should be more addressed in this film that's kind of not, but. Yeah. But I do I do enjoy just the look of this movie. He's got like a, some 80s hair going. They shut can you the, hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. They shut well, the van door. My damn Roku lost connection, so I'm not keep, watching anymore. All right. I'll keep you posted on our timestamps. <laughs> as long as one of them's still going, we can make this work. We've done this before. So they're climbing the mountain. Let me know when you're back online. I'm working on it. <laughs> it's the one thing about streaming, people. That's why it's buy physical. Buy physical. Yes, that's why I buy physical. <laughs> this, this is why we do these recordings when after the physical has come out. It's because of this unreliable stuff. Mm -hmm. So what I think of is this temple was like the temple of the wizards. And it was like where they gathered. And then the Rocky of Eternity was like the magical realm they went to. So this is where they were on Earth. And it looks like that's where they took Harut was here to the temple of the wizards. Not They didn't actually go into the rock. Because... It feels like Black Adam is imprisoned in the Rock of Eternity. Um, cause, so, he's singing Baby Come Back because, you know, that's cool for a Middle Eastern dude to sing, like, 70s music. Drinking, you know, Gatorade out with a straw. Like, that's cool. <laughs> and, there, and there's the dude, Samir. There you go, Samir. Samir. Yep, that's what I was just thinking, actually. He got thrown, him and his uh, John Waters mustache. Yeah, and then we got the... Um, the guys in all black who look hardcore coming out of nowhere. But they just emerge from the mountain themselves. And he's like, peace, man. <laughs> hey! <laughs> he's like, guys. And then this guy's looking like he's like possessed. Like, yeah, it's me, Ishmael. Where's Samir? Oh, he went out for some air. Claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, I know. He might as well have been twisting his mustache when he said he needed some air. <laughs> he, uh, he no longer work here anymore. His name not Samir, it is. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm not currently, but Jania is drinking her uh, blue Zoa with the Black Adam on it. I'm be sad when they like take him off the cans and it's just regular again. I'm like, yeah. dang, I'm like, dang it. I was gonna say I got I got me some uh I got me some Zoa from Costco. Nice. I got I got an orange one in the fridge. I just haven't I was just debating whether or not it's too late or not to pop it in. I told Janie, I was like, when I die, my last word is I'm gonna reach I'm gonna like lay in the hospital bed like where it's Solomon and be like Shazam, and then to die. <laughs> uh, she's like, you right, would. What are you? Okay, you seeing? Timestamp fourteen twenty seven twenty eight. It's the crown of Sabak. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful Jania, the Godfather. She sleeps twenty feet away. Okay, now it it never gets old. <laughs> Quoting old school it never gets old. <laughs> All right. All right. She's climbing to get the crown. Yep. 1447, 1451. She's about to jump for the crown that that's just hanging there. It's like it wasn't even hidden. Like there's no booby traps. It's just like I mean, it's oh. like a hidden cave, but Yeah, I know. She just like Laura Croft Tomb Raiders it. So, she just jumped and grabbed it on mine. See, and then the, there's the writing. See what been great is when she grabbed it. This is when Samir should have like bit the dust. Because, like, 
um, she grabbed it and set off a thing. Boot yeah. Tape. Now they're shooting up the place. Like at this point, they're still like, like doing the charade that Ishmael is on her is side. Not with, yeah, is not with them. Like it's Which found, is- it's found, and you have a group of soldiers around you. It's smart just to keep playing it, just in case they have to barter with it. Like, give us, because you know he might be smart enough to realize that she's intelligent and he needs her. Her brain. Well, she is a very intelligent person. That's part of the character, the character, and the characterization. Um, I mean, even if you see, I I also read the the Black Adam secret files or uh, Justice Society secret files, the the comics that led up to this. Oh yeah, just and, throw it in my face that I have Ultra Tyler because I can afford it, and you have to, you know, you can't right now. Yeah, let me just <laughs> throw that energy around. <laughs> I had to sacrifice that to to make that hundred dollars for for my ultra. So like, I am proud like, I of my ultra. Thank you very much. I didn't eat for a week. A <laughs> <laughs> hundred days. I mean, that's or a hundred dollars. That's only like two days worth of food. <laughs> and there he is. She said Shazam caught him. I like how how to free him. Was just written there on the floor. I know, right? It is. It is super simplistic. I'm not gonna like go over like. Um, well, I mean, come on. It's it's in the comics. It's written on the wall. You know, okay. Doctor Savannah finds the tomb of Black Adam in that New Fifty Two Jeff Johns backup, which and, we're still pulling from for all this. So yeah, yeah. Uh, well, absolutely. This this movie was in peak development time when Jeff Johns was in charge. This is no, in peak this is a, time. This is explaining exactly why uh, Jeff his version is being adapted as well as the JSA. Yeah. This was in development. Jeff Johns was in diapers. That's how long it's been. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that little awesome. thing. I do. The boss says it's your turn. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> I do. I do like that. He kind of looks in this shot when it like he's still under the hood. Which I love the hood. I love the hooded look. He yeah. looks a little older. Um, because he looks like he was older, like face wise. Like maybe I love he catches a bullet. I love he that he speaks. Generates that dude, Kondakian. And then he. This is a big deal, you know, the fact that he lifts himself up. Like Black Adam's not one to ever want to really put his feet down. Because I thought about that, like. It's a trait of his because even in the Injustice games, he's never flat footed. He's always hovering. Boom, boom. This is like James if he's ever in a bar fight. Bam. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That's funny. I love this uh, one. He we punches through the rock. Yeah, it punches through the rock and then incinerates the guy. It's like hitting himself. <laughs> when he throws the guy, throws him so hard he doesn't e- it, he doesn't even let go of his arm. It comes. Oh, along. I know. That yeah, there it is. Drop. Yeah. Talk about a, talk about a mic drop, arm drop, yeah, hand drop. See, Ishmael's like, ah, see, good thing he didn't reveal himself because she has the crown. At least they didn't do something like the crown was like split. I like that he saves her. Why? Like, does he know her voice? Does he, he recognize that she's not a combatant? Like, then he goes flying up. So, oh, snap. And there he is. I love this shot. So there, James. Yes, I am. The the uh, the sun shot right there. Him coming out. And you just through see the his... cave wall. Yeah, yeah. Like you see his symbol, and then he comes out. There's like how you reveal his face. Like it's a great reveal. Like I almost wish there was no trailer for this movie. I swear. And it was just like, just like little bits of like the first teaser. And then we got like a teaser trailer for each character, and now and they're like Black Adam. And that was it, because that shot of him in front of the (laughs) 
He's hovering there. Yeah, but this this what's about to happen, you know, with the with the paint it black and everything. <laughs> oh, dude, I almost wish it was a cover of paint it black, just because I think it'd been cool to have like a more of a heavier metal edge. Um, I think it would've been cool than just the Rolling Stones paint it black, but it works. <laughs> this is like. In this scene, he almost completely like eradicates inner gains. Um, what do you call it? Occupation their, of like, conduct. Yeah, pretty much their entire for- local forces. You know, I mean his his body count. The one scene, the the one scene where he where he starts putting out the electric awesome the lightning shot. through everybody. Yeah, it's right uh, here. You can count like if you freeze frame it. You can count near forty something people, and yeah, that's just the that. that's just the people on 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 foot and infantry. So you know he he just shot his first light, lightning. He pushed the uh, the blade. I like how he's just like hovering. He's like studying. He just shredded that truck. Yeah, so I love it when he rips that truck in half. Tossed a grenade. He caught. He said, like, "Put it in the dude's mouth." And then did the clap of power. Takes it to the face from the rail gun. Dude's got some jack teeth. Pushes the rocket. Everything blows up now that we're and he just lands. I mean, that's a classic shot. They stop the van in front of him, he's just standing there. I'm frustrated. <laughs> the, the rolling up the windows is funny, <laughs> but at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, like they're like she's like keeping her eyes forward. No, I mean, he he did already save her, you know, so she released him out of desperation. Now, here we go. The guy has the Eternium rocket. Why would they have that with them? You know what I'm saying? Like, do they expect? Yeah. I like how it says Eternium on it. <laughs> Well, I mean, they can't stamp Stark Tech on it. <laughs> they should have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and and there, oh, just his boots left, and there goes the cloak that I like so much, and he's hurt, and he flies off. Can't fly into the sun, you know. Yeah, right. God willing, we won't see him again. And there he <laughs> Crash. <laughs> and he's just right there, lighting. I do like that suit, though. That's a dope suit for Black Adam. Yeah, I, I kind of go back and forth of preferring his old um, dark suit to his cleaner gold suit uh at at the end yeah we'll get there and then look there's the big ishmael is the bad guy i told you to make it look real i'm cool because i'm shooting a dude in the head who's buffer than me but he's already injured hmm And then they got these super hyper bike things, like these things. And then there's he there he is. Hawkman. Watching right, what's your timestamp? Timestamp is twenty five thirteen fourteen. Woo! Right with Amanda, you. Amanda Waller's face. And good morning to you too. Shove it up your ass, Carter. <laughs> <laughs> So 
See, I like. Sorry, the- my internet is just being so so fickle tonight. It's the wrong night to try this, but we're gonna make it work. Um, I've seen this movie three times already, so I know what we're looking at, and and if I can catch up, uh, that'd be great. As long as we don't lose lose our connection here. Yeah, we're good. We can keep talking about it. Um, I okay. Like my thing was, I like. I, I kind of think that the JSA was a thing and they kind of disbanded and then Carter's kind of kept it. And he like, you know, was working, doing missions with Waller. Cause I'm trying to think, you know, at this time, technically Waller should have been outed for the suicide squad based off where peacemaker was. And it's like, he's putting the JSA back together. Oh, there's Henry Winkler as old Al Rothstein. Yeah. <laughs> I love that as I love that as a uh, uh, a cameo. Just him being his uncle, being yeah, the lucky. first Adam Smasher. I mean, they probably he probably didn't even know who he was talking to. He's Noah Cent- Centineo is probably in theaters. Like, oh man, that's who I was talking to. Yeah, yeah. So, somebody was like, he probably just filmed it on cameo. Oh yeah, like totally. they, they, they're like they're like this is what we need you to do for the movie. Just film it on cameo, and we'll put it in. <laughs> um, so I did read the um the interview with Aldous Hodge talking about um Hawkman, uh-huh. and he did say that he is a uh, um he is from ancient Egypt, and he does reincarnate. Uh, that he's re- reincarnated every lifetime. Um, so I think like that's part of this version of the character. It didn't say anything about Thanagar, nothing like that. So I think that's part of the character. And I think that's what we, we get a part of right here is these quick introductions to these characters. It's literally just enough to tell you who they are and what they can do. And like, some of the dialogue coming up, like the little interaction here soon that I really enjoy between um, Maxine and um, Al when, when they, he just, what do you do? And she Mm -hmm. says, wind. (laughs) And he says, and he says, and she asks him and he says, I grow like just little bits. You know what I mean? Like they're yeah. not the 100% focal point, but you can see where there was a lot more character development that I think was edited out through this. I I felt that watching it from the first time is a lot of like bits of choppy editing, not a whole lot of choppy editing, but like where you would feel like more character stuff was, it was cut out. Oh yeah. I, I totally agree. Oh, there's Hawkman and his logos. Like I feel like Hawkman. I love his branding. Yeah, <laughs> he's got he, he's got hawks everywhere. He's kept it up. Like he probably did some solo stuff, you know, and then he kept the team, and then now like they're just now building a new team of the Justice Society. That's why we have Maxine and Al, and we have you know Old Faithful Kent. But I remember you know the interview with Aldous Hodge talking about. That Hawkman, he's just a dude. Like he seriously is just a guy. And the only reason he does what he's got that fan that nth metal uh, armor. So th- I mean that's how he can take the feedings and the fights, but he is just a dude. Yeah, I mean the reincarnation and all, but yeah, there, he's he's kind of just like a guy with the nth metal. The diamond cutter. The Awakening of Dwayne Johnson. All right. His room. Somewhere in his room, in one of these scenes, there is a Shazam 12-inch figure. That's the exact, <laughs> I love the, the headless Superman shot. Oh, yeah. And there's the, uh, from the Bendis run, Batman poster. See that Aquaman poster that's clearly Momoa? Superman, Wonder Woman posters. Dude's got a dope room. Yeah, he does. He, he's not rocking every t-shirt like Freddy was Flash. Move. Oh, there's the new 52 Superman in the back. Come on, 
They wouldn't move out of my I way. I like the figures. He's got Wonder Woman, Batman. Flash. Flash. And, the, and like I said, it's the same kind of vibe that we got in Shazam. Okay, look how he looks at himself. Well, they didn't have mirrors. They had reflective bits here and there, but it's few and far between, so you rarely looked at yourself. Not like not that it never happened, but from the time he got his powers to the time he was imprisoned, he probably never saw himself. Right, exactly. And that makes you wonder like how he knows how to use his powers as well as he does. Well, I think I've... part of that comes from instinct from the um the wisdom portion of his powers, but also we know that come later he can't he can't handle yeah. the powers. He doesn't know how to control them. Although he did a pretty damn good job against Inner Gang. <laughs> the brother wearing the crown. <laughs> Dude's wearing the crown like nothing. Like, what if he had turned into Sabak? Like, makes you wonder about the original guy when he was uh, putting the crown on to be Sabak. Because. Did he perform the whole ritual? Hmm. Life is the path What's to that? death. The revolt. The battle of the champion. Okay. So there's the champion that defeated the king. So did they build the statue after they defeated the king? Well, from what we... Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from what from what we could tell before, I mean, from what we can tell once we get there, uh is he said through his many victories. Right. And that's okay, that's my thing is the way that it plays out is his son got the power. And then what did he do? Because you know, he's the people's champion and everything. Did, and it's like, it makes it seem like the son got the power that immediately would have stopped the king. But obviously he didn't stop the king right away. What was he doing? You know, if the king was still searching to build the crown and looked like he was perfectly fine. It just seems like the times table is weird that, you know, his son gets the power. His son's the champion. The people love him, but he doesn't defeat King Achman. And then he gets the power. Um, What do you call it? He gets the power immediately, it seems like. And as soon as he gets the power, um, he's, you know, he goes after the king right away. And that's when we have the blow up scene. So it just it just feels a little off on the times table. And then the other question is how do they know his name? Like, hold on, I'll tell you in a minute. I'll pay attention. Who's gonna teach him violence, James? You gonna teach him violence? Yes. Are you yes. are you the man will... are you the man of the house who teaches your children violence? Because that's not how it works in my house. Janine is teaching the kids violence. She taught Sailor how to just whip some crap. <laughs> You no, know. it's me. There he is. There's Shazam. Right uh, next yeah. to Batman. Yep, there right he is. behind the There he was. Right behind his thing that pops up. I like this, how he's just descending down. Oh, there's a skateboard. That would be so cool. I wish I could do that. Fly? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's just slowly going down. That's what I think is funny. It's just a, just enough of like Watch me go down while you run all these stairs, kids. <laughs> he says Teth Adam is strong. Okay, I kind of mixed it because I was like, did he say Teth Adam, right. his name? It is 3609. God, I love technology. 3613. 14. Yay. 36 what? Uh, 3625. So, we got the JSA, right? Yeah. 
And then we see the hologram of Teth Atham. Teth, th- 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 what I was saying was, did he, did Black Adam say his name was Teth Adam first before Amon? That's that's what I thought happened. Oh, uh, no. He, he said, you're Teth Adam, right? The champion of combat. Okay. So how do they know his name's Teth Adam? Because wouldn't they have real, like, because if he just became the power, they would think that he was his son, Haru. Or that, or Harut was named Teth. At you know what I'm saying? Like, how would they actually know that his name is Teth? So it it makes me wonder that there had to be a little bit of time of him with the power. Like I like you and I talked before is he got the power, he blew up the king, and then probably did some other stuff, destroying the forces, freed the sins, and went crazy. And then that's when the wizards had to intervene. Right. Well, so, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot I feel, like I said, that feels like was, may have cut, may have been cut out of this movie. I feel like the, the exchange between Kent and Carter on the, on the hall, uh, on the bridge before they come down here and talk to these two. Um, I feel like that because they're just standing across from one another, that they just cut things out. Because there's no mention of what the plan is. They just like, yeah, this is a bad plan. Like yeah. they talk about all the the file on Black Adam, um, and saying that all of this was um was fiction until, you know, yesterday or whatever. Um so like I feel like just through through creative editing we lost bits there maybe what the plan was um see there's the necklace Mm -hmm. he says forgive me standing there so i mean i think the closest thing we get is to the truth is what teth adam says you know later on when he is telling who Harut was and how he has the powers, but he's not the champion. Yeah. Like I feel his, his description of what happened is closest, but it doesn't give you an accurate time of how long was the champion present? How many victories did he had to have over the King? Um, you know, and then how long between, his death and the king's uh the, the time that black adam loses his uh loses control of his powers and almost destroys He's gonna combat. save you mate i love, i think it, it's just hilarious cuz like remember he doesn't have super hearing so he's yelling teth adam like it doesn't mean he can hear you Boom. Mama with a skateboard to the face. I recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Just throws him into the water. I should have let him go plop. We should have got to see him go bloop. Teth Adam stopping the bullets. Why didn't he just like lightning at least guy? <laughs> he said you didn't pull out a knife and try to do that hand. type of move. From the good, the bad, and the ugly. Draw. The thing is, this is funny, but I feel like it's almost outdated to the point now where a lot of people now wouldn't understand the references. And he just electrocutes everybody. With his fingers like a gun. And Amon laughs like a child. Who just. (laughs) Hawkman. I wish we would have got more Dr. Fate. Right, Jania? (laughs) 
Hmm. Get two of them. There goes Hawkman. Remember when Brian thought it was going to be uh, uh, There goes my hero. There's James. His beautiful voice. Can you hear me? Brian thought that uh, that scene was Mr. Terrific. We're like, no, I'm pretty sure it's just Hawkman, dude, in a jacket. No, no, it's Mr. Terrific, guys. Okay, dude. Um, <laughs> Tell them the men in black. Boom, you? caught him with some wings. No. No, it's not working. He looks awesome. To process. And Teth Adam just killed him. Should have kept a tally. What's up? It's a big global stability. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a that's a great line if inner gang hadn't been there. If inner gang <laughs> hasn't uh, controlled the country for the last twenty seven years. Oh, look who's awake. Is it me? <laughs> no, it's Allura. <laughs> I was a slave until I died. I was reborn a god. I kneel before yeah, no the, one. It keeps or messing born. up, so now he's coming out of the computer instead of my headphones. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quick into the Doctor Fate world. This keeps freezing up, so like I'm li where where Hawkman literally just jumped out of the plane. Ah, uh, the Mister Terrific scene. Yeah, yeah, the Mister Terrific scene. Yeah, exactly. We're at we're at forty four twenty. 21, 22, 23. And here's Tethan staring as Hawkman punches him in the face. And he can do that because he has nth metal or ninth metal armor. I like the guess. FedEx, KFC, and Kondok. <laughs> Just say yep, Shazam. We all go they're home. occupied by Inner Gang, but they have KFC. I mean, yeah, okay. Henry, he's got to eat too. We're at 44.53. He's got Hawkman and his mace. The lightning punch. Poof. What's your uh, the time stamp? 45. 15, 16, 17, 18. Here comes Maxine and Al, all suited up. <laughs> it's a hand-me-down from my uncle. <laughs> nope. That's pretty cool, the way the he uses that nth metal to, to spin that lightning around and throw it back at him. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's dope. I'm, I'm... Okay, Amon does not have his skateboard here. His mom does not have his skateboard. But somehow his skateboard comes back. I'm big on this skateboard. And every time I see Amon shirt, I think he's wearing like a Hardy slash Carl Jr. shirt. But it's not. It's just a gold, it's just a gold star. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll. Her powers look I so do. cool. Oh, dude. Yeah, the imagery they do with her. I, I is love the, the colors awesome. and the use of her powers. She's like Pocahontas. She's painting with the colors of the wind. There you go. <laughs> I 
I like how she's like, oh, watch this. Like, I'm, she I'm almost, put them, in she almost put them down with that. Uh, she almost hurt the civilians with those pipes. Yeah, for real. She's like, he won't get out of this metal that he can bend easily. <laughs> with a look. <laughs> and he'll just lightning. And then there goes Amon. Saved by Dr. Fate. I'll be right there. And there's the Atom Smasher Brad mask. Brad. The, the and uh, you can see, see, this is sweet. See the, the area where... That's cool that he take I like without the helmet. She's like, he's like, you have the crown of Sabak. I just like how Sabak is so well known. Couldn't Dr. Fate like trick him into saying Shazam? That's so cool looking. Dr. Fate, one, two, three, seven, nine. I wish they hadn't showed us so much in the trailer. That's a beautiful shot of Hawkman. That's a wallpaper shot. I'd love to see some of the details and their costumes. Like, there's so much detail. I love his eyes. Sorry. I love that his eyes change to pure white when he uses his electricity. Yeah, that's really awesome looking. I love how Adam Smash is just useless and lost. <laughs> and, then, and then here he goes. He's growing. I like how he's got the white lenses on his mask, though. Yes. I want to go to GameStop, man. And they have the big uh, Adam Smasher figure that's like 40 bucks. It's on sale for 20 Ooh, nice. They have it and Sabak, but I want to get Adam Smasher, the big one for Solomon. Yeah. He really likes Adam Smasher in this. Dude, if, if I had the money, I'd buy, if I had the money, I'd buy like 20 Dr. Fates and set them up like that. Oh yeah, <laughs> McFarlane. I will be your. I will get McFarlane tattooed on my face if you send me free stuff. <laughs> right, McFarlane toys with the Spawn little logo. Yeah, I know, right? That'd be funny, huh? Um, Don't let him up. I mean, I just uh, that's a cool shot of him flying. I just think it's interesting how uh how like um the there's Patrick Sabangier right there. Like as a Kandaki. Like is that like whitewashing a character? I mean he's ethnic of some sort, right? Like Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely aligned. Um Hogman just looks pissed. Pissed. But, you know, Patrick Sabanier, also known as the uh, chief of police, previous chief of police in The Flash. There he is. And there goes Teth Adam yeah, flying he's away. The, he's the Captain Singh moved to Kandak, it looks like. I love when you watch a movie enough, then you just spend your time just watching the people in the background, the extras, what they're doing. It, it makes it enjoyable. The way he talk, the way he says Sabak, I was like, that's that's it's only uh, Pierce Brosnan who can say can say it like that. Sabak. Sabak. My my thing that makes me twenty seven years I've never seen you before. See, that's the, all this conversation about how we finally have our own hero and all this, and you decide to show up. 
is why I'm not, I, I, in the end, I don't like one of the choices they made about how the movie ends. He is not a hero. Tell that to all the people he just liberated. Mm. You and me. You and me. You and me. <laughs> oh, now Amon has a skateboard. Yeah. Where did he get this skateboard, Amon? Did you steal a skateboard? Oh, no. Huh? He walked right back the, the way he came. Past all of the uh, dead inner gang soldiers and grab picked up his skateboard that the mom hit his face that the guy uh, hit the that the mom hit the guy in the face with. <laughs> Teth Adam is not who you think he is. We have ancient Teths. Hmm. His rage nearly destroyed Kondok. See, that means that it should have been like a scene of like, like they, they went after, that's cool. Like the statue, it's just a fist that remained. Yeah. It could have been like they, they, the champion liberated the people and the king escaped, but then the king returned with it, an army to get his crown. And that's when, you know, things went bad. I don't know. Just, I just want more from the history. Well, I mean. So the way that the story develops, I mean, I know I, I had spoken on it before about how the movie opens up. It's not as big of a deal now because I know where it goes. First time I saw it, the way the movie opens up with Amon speaking the story of the champion. And you can almost see, like, when you're watching it, you're like, is this a history lesson or is there a reason it's a child telling us this story? And we find out there is a reason it's a child telling us this story because it's the the story that's been passed down for th five thousand years where the champion is that where the champion is basically a child's story. Mm -hmm. You know, wishful thinking. There he comes walking in. The crown's falling. See, in this scene, he doesn't get the crown. He doesn't put it on his head. Mm-hmm. And he just starts electric. It's like, I think it's interesting that he's like shooting electric from all parts of his body. Not even like just his hands. Like, because we've seen him. So like he's out of control. And then Boom. There's one of the statues that's given the like the the fist pump. See, and this is really cool here. I love how they now Teth Adam, you must pay. See, okay, right there. Okay, here here's my thing. Everyone but Shazam. Sorry. What's that? No. Okay. So we were talking about um so obviously he had to put on the cloak. Okay. At some point he put the cloak on and remember in the wizard Shazam, when he's telling the history to Billy about the other champion, he has the cloak. So yeah, there would have been after he destroyed the temple, he kind of went on and did his own thing before the wizards were able to bring him down. And then, yeah, he destroyed all the wizards, but um, Shazam. Shazam. If they choose to fight, they choose to. See, it all works. I mean, you can make it all work. And there's Ishmael chilling at his house. I like how the uncle's trying to tell him, like, kids just don't listen. Back away. Back away. 
I'd be like, dude, get your hair cut, man. The crown looks cool, though. On a cyborg comic. That's how they're winking at Ray Fisher. I hope they bring back Ray Fisher, man, but it's hard to say what, what the future is going to hold for DC. For the next, uh, uh, for the next five, ten years. We'll know soon enough from James Gunn. See, I think well, right here, you know what the scene's is, missing? As you know, Zaslav will know next week. Who knows what we're going to hear? Because... They're not going to tell us, oh, this is what we're going to do for the next 10 years. No, we're going to get, like, the next slate of movies. We'll get, like, the first year. Handful of yeah. At most. I love, Three, I love the bucket of chicken. I love the bucket of chicken that Dr. Fate takes away. I've been so mad. Just years have been pissed. He, he does. He looks so mad. But what, they, what we needed was we needed a mon when he went in his room to escape Ishmael. He needed to throw a figure at him. Like, go get him, Batman. Right. And see, like this is we have Teth Adam hovering. Hogman talks pretty, you know, hard for a dude just wearing armor. Yeah, I mean just it's saying. practically indestructible armor, so Oh, there you go. Ishmael was a bad guy. Stupid cat. I hate these animals. Sabak. My daughter leaves all these glasses of water she doesn't put up, and then the cat just knocked it over. Oh. Mon should just hung out in the air deck longer yeah. instead of getting his skateboard and trying to be all hip and cool and skateboard out. You know, if he just would have waited a little bit longer, they wouldn't have saw him. Yeah, more than likely. I mean, he, he's not like Eric Rivers getting out of here on a skateboard. If anyone gets that cut, they're my hero. Now, this is cool, the sliding... But I would have laughed if I just would have snapped as soon as he tried it. <laughs> right. The hover bike comes right through the friggin' wall. Whatever you say. <laughs> yeah. Remember your catchphrase, James. Exactly. Like, I, I missed the whole first one because of my stuff messed up on. But yeah, it's, it's, his body count is huge in this movie. Huh. I want you to go to hell. That's the plan, little man. Like, I like that. It's true. That's what he's trying to yeah. do. Yeah. Oh, is that a John Kent Superman comic? That's a cool shot of how he takes off flying in midair. Uh, <laughs> I love that he tries to rush thing again. I'm telling the man in black, boom. That's sweet how they do the super speed with Eternium. Yeah, like, it, it was almost like a warp effect. Like, it, it went past it. Like a quick jump effect. Yeah. I like how he just shoots the lightning from his hand. Oh. No mon there. 
<laughs> and the mom freaks out too. She's like, huh? <laughs> And then there's Hawkman. Yeah, the way he comes out with those wings flapping and stuff, though, it looks so cool. The effects in this movie are great. And that's why, like, they, you know, they pushed it back and everything to finish the effects. And I'm like, good, because they look awesome. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, <laughs> How else look- effects are eff- effects are effects. Like, we're so trained to, like, we want them to look good, and they do. But we demand such so much more from everything. And you would think that there would be new effects houses opening up because of just the work. But there really hasn't been. There's only a couple of them that actually do everything. You know, and you hear how like Marvel is, you know, ruthless to their workers for their effects on their films. You think there'd be new effects houses that would start opening up digital effects artists and stuff because there's such a need or like these studios like Disney would create their own in-house effects team you know because they because if they if they did that if they created their own like in-house effects digital artist team um I almost hit you Bow. and there he backhands a hawk man they could keep them in house and probably get more work out of them. <laughs> you, you, me and you. <laughs> That's what I say to Sailor sometimes. I'm like, me and you, Sailor. Me and you. Death Adam. Death Adam. That's me. Tethy Adam. I like the fact that this is this is a comic book movie. There's Eternium and Inner Gang and Eternium weapons and Eternium hover bikes. And they just exist because they exist. Because it's a comic book world. Yep. Am I dying? So now how you're going to die. How do I die? <laughs> Stay away from electricity. But I'm an electrician. <sighs> I just, I feel like Dr. Fate was like the one character in this I really could have done more with. <clears throat> that is, like, how fast do you think they're going right here? He is pushing that bike and hitting. Poor. He's in Asia. Cambodia, maybe. I don't know. Rice. It says Mandarin, so that's all Asia, but I don't know. Looks like he's. You can't tell. Part of a green screen, part of it doesn't. That's some great editing. No, I'm on. But we were made to think. It's messed up, Ishmael. I want the champion because I am not cool. I caught one of the boys. He didn't make it. It's it's such a... (laughs) That's such a great line. He didn't make it. You killed him, didn't you? He'll be back on his feet in no time. Uh, 
gotta love that they, they have this awesome tech. Yeah. See, I feel like this is like this is our one big scene together, but it's like what are we trying to get from Maxine and Al? Aerokinesis. Which would probably be Tio Morrow. See that that's the interesting thing about him that he never gets developed is Al is like second guessing him even being there. Mm. Yes, I'm Dr. Fate. I see future. <laughs> the door things. There's Hawkman. <laughs> There's James. Oh, look at that. So anyone who's out there listening, just know that Spectrum's router is screwing James up and their internet is not becoming reliable. Horribly. Horribly. We're we are at one hour and nine minutes and ten seconds. Imagine if there's a thunderstorm. Black Adam has two dudes. Well, of course. Imagine. I'm going to drop one of them. It's a Black Adam thunderstorm. I like how he's like, I'm going to drop one of them. <laughs> Technically, it was just a lie. The Hawkman is. Hawkman is angry. That's why I waited until you were there. Man, that's a, Hawk, Hawkman, like, I feel like with a little bit more develop would really help with, like, his his mindset. Oh, yeah, he's just headstrong and stubborn, and that's that's what you get from him. I mean, especially, like, in the line where they were talking about when, he, you know, he says we have access to the ancient texts or whatever. It's been awesome if it was some sort of line, like, I was there. And that's all they say. That's an awesome shot when he gets up and spreads the wings. Like, you know, if he was just like, like I, w I was there when it happened. Something like that might have even been there. Uh, that was cut out, you know. Stop cutting stuff out, people. We want these, we want, oh, there goes Flash. There goes the Aquaman poster. There's Batman statue. Batman on the skateboard right there. Punch through the Superman. Punch the crown. That is a cool way of stopping the fight. Yeah. Is that they found the crown. Oh, there's a Superman toy. <laughs> no. The 
Crown of Sabic. Couldn't they have just melted it down or like broke it apart? You know? Pierce Brosnan looks awesome. He can totally pull off the ascot. <laughs> just just the lights stop. <laughs> See now I think that's that's just a, a little bit of a miss there because it didn't look like Kent was carrying that helmet and then he turned around and said Oh true, true, true. Great observation. Unless he walked up to the table, set it down, didn't have it, and then kind of picked it up again. Don't they have a 3D printer on that thing? They could have just made a 3D fake print of the crown. Oh yeah, that's a different. And then, except uh, though he's in a different spot than the helmets on the table. Mm. Now he's so definitely it. He's putting it down and picking it up. See, that's what that's that's why like, I and like sometimes they'll have scenes where. I feel like it would be natural that they'd shift their body weight or shift their, where the crown is or in their hands, but we don't see them shift. So it feels like a blooper, but yeah, there was definitely some, there were some cuts in the edits here. Yeah. I love teams. Very much. Good. the Justice Society, man. Hawkman knows how to brand, dude. Yeah, he does. He just has, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. It makes me feel like he's got more of a history of being Hawkman, probably doing his own thing. He was more of like the people's hero type thing. Play, played by the rules with the with the establishment. Um, worked alongside you know, the government or whatever with the old justice society. It's Adam Smasher. <laughs> Surprisingly no. Yeah. Well in the um in the in the comics, the prequel comics leading up to this, uh, there is more allusion to a history. Because the the comics takes pl take place in like like with the characters that they're about, you know, with with, mm -hmm. the, with the Adriana back uh, backups in each, and then the Honda history uh, backups in each. So it's not like you get a whole bunch of history for the characters, but um, the JSA was definitely a thing. And at the time, at one time, there was a, a Hawkman, a Doctor Fate, and the original Adam Smasher. See, I like that we see Adam Smasher eating more snacks in different shots than we do Flash. And that's supposed to be a Flash thing, but I always thought it was great. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's when you jump. <laughs> and then again. Like, Once again, like, he's just killing people. I like, when he said, damn, I was like, is he saying it because Black Adam did something? Or is it because, like, the way the music hit at the same time? I was like, did someone turn music on? Mm -hmm. Oh, he ran into a wall of Eternium. I love the way he just flies in, though, because... It's not like Superman where he like always flies like belly down and straight out. Like he hovers his feet. Down. Yeah, I like the way they show him flying. Like it's it's even different than the way that Shazam, Billy, Billy Shazam. You know that guy. Yeah. He flies. Of course, she's gonna give him the crown. She wants to save her son. Dr. Fate just looks awesome. He should do more. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, they nailed the suits in this. For everybody. Yeah. I think everybody looks great. What if she just like would have taken the crown and shoved it in Ishmael's face? So I just feel like you could have really hit on reincarnation types themes in this film with him. Yeah, with him, with uh, Hawkman. Yeah, like it, it could have been cool if you would have had Ishmael show up and had an interaction with Carter and Carter recognized him because of the reincarnation that like they recognized each other for who they really were back then. Well, that's like the Korut. That's the only path to life. I like the slow mo. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, he just goes right through the railing. See, he knew what he was doing. He let go of the gun. Yeah, it was it was entirely part of the plan. See, like that's his rage so attack. They discuss the uh, um, the the belief that the champions. I love that shot of Hawkman's wings going around her. Doctor Fate taking him. Adam Smasher grabbing Maxine and just Black Adam releasing his rage. His name should have been Rage Adam. No bullet. They gave each other those the look. Still with me, James? Did I lose you? So there. That's a cool shot. I shrunk down while moving. Same time. He's all burned up. Only you can stop you. Shouldn't Harut be in the ancient text? He's asking who's Harut, but shouldn't he know? If he's got these special ancient texts. All right, here we go with the story. There's Steve Rogers, Dwayne Johnson. Freedom is for the birds. Let's know it's be the hero. The graveyard is full of them.
James is back. Yay. Oh, yay. Look at that. All right. There's Haru. There's his dad running up the stairs to save his son. But I wasn't strong enough. But then he disappeared. I think it's, all the wizards look awesome. And then he looks awesome. But Haru after the, the champion's team. many victories... Yeah, there they cut down the wife. They cut down the dad. A closer shot of the necklace. And her, to where it looks like the same actress. Then here comes her root. Which is and, think, Young Rock playing the Young Rock show. The guy who plays yeah. older Rock. <laughs> yeah, older Young Rock. Older Young He's Rock. Just got a, <laughs> he just has a career of playing young Dwayne Johnson. See, I think it's interesting. He gives his dad the power. He doesn't know how to share it. You know, the way that later Billy would share the power. You know, this her, this uh, Haru champion. Well, I mean, it was 5,000 to... years ago. I mean, things maybe changed or just somebody else thought differently, discovered the sharing of the power instead of... Like giving him the mm -hmm. power. <laughs> Freaking Dwayne exactly. Johnson looks huge. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh gosh, that right there. Yeah, and he catches it right in the heart. So it's it's an instant death. Yeah. Yeah, the fastest death. I couldn't save him from the keys. And this is cool. Yeah. This costume. It's forming. So I, I like the idea that you kind of make your costume with uh, with the power. It's a statue. My son dreamt of a better world. That's why he saved me. Then you should honor your kid, bro. The world was only a better place with him in it. What if, like, if, okay, for example, what if he said Shazam again? And when he went small, like, his injuries were still there, and he died. Uh, and his injuries. There, look, there we go. He's walking again. Yeah. Like, he walks only when he, like, lower, when he feels like he lowers himself. Why? Like, this is like the one. This is like the one part of the movie I don't really like. I'll be honest, because I feel like every comic that we went over, when he said Shazam again, he turned to dust. <laughs> <laughs> and here, he he's he didn't. Yeah, I mean that's a very old uh um I think that's a very old way of defeating him, you know? Uh -huh. Like not being able to defeat him, defeat him, but when it comes down to it making him fear I mean, other stuff each... than fearing death, which is why yeah, he I mean, says we had Shazam Eternia, and, which is and like his dies. Kryptonite. And we could have used that instead of having him say Shazam and being small. Everybody's on board the ship.
So here's my biggest question. Oh, there's Harcourt. Just had to throw James Gunn. Had to put his wife in it, and uh, just a, enough of the uh, connective tissue to the Peacemaker series. He's technically not a god. So my biggest question is here at Waller's black site that she's running because she got outed from the Suicide Squad. Who are all these other people? And look, they put him in this specialized... He's underwater breathing and can't speak. What if you were sign language Shazam? Would that work? Watch one, two, three, four, five. I lost count. I'm on wearing the uh, JSA blanket cape. And then the body that's just laying in the back. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Like creepy, the distorted voices. This is the whole concept. I, got, I had to research. I can't remember what it's called, but like. We have the seven sins, and then the other dimension has the seven realms of like the seven virtues of man is their evil the thing. Ends of the old world. Yeah, like, that's a really cool concept, and that's why I said to me, Sabak would have been a great villain. Like, I kind of wish that he was the idea of the the what to come villain. And he never actually formed. They stopped it in this. And then Sabak was like the villain that brought Shazam, the Shazam family and Black Adam together because of just how he really is like their evil opposite. Uh, right. But dang, dude, all those people that Waller has makes you wonder who they are. Yeah, uh, multiple different sizes of... Um stasis units that were very close to like the war world stasis units in young justice mm-hmm. the hawkman browning okay the rf what year would that be he's over a hundred years old and if he was too young to go i mean that could have been but I'm saying, World like, could, War. Could, could, could have even like, been World War One. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. Could you imagine? Because Steve Trevor was working in England. Like, if you would have had a young Kent Nelson, like, bump into Steve Trevor. Or even, like, just had, like, how great of a scene would have been here if you did, like, a where you saw the young boy of Kent on the street and he bumps into uh, Steve and Diana in the scene where Diana first comes to England and they're walking to meet Etta. Like, mm, right. That'd be fantastic. But, you know, there was never there was never any cohesive thought from movie to movie. Why are we not doing this? Why are we not running this? Come on, James Gunn. There they were all, it was it was business. All they cared about was the billion dollar paycheck. They're like, "Oh, they can do it. We can do it." Yeah, it takes time. And that planning. That's that's all that that's all that mattered. So every time they didn't get a billion dollar paycheck and somebody said something bad about it, they just was like, "Oh, well, you know, these dumb focus group people must be right." <laughs> the rock of finality. Demon 1. They didn't even name them. 
demon too. <laughs> they all have a name. Exactly, because they're what Sabak means. All yeah. Beelzebub is one of them. Yeah. Right here. The Rock of Finality. That's creepy. Like, I mean, this is pretty awesome, though. Him emerging from the boiling water. Oh, yeah. He looks cool. Yeah, I... I... I definitely want I want the Black Adam McFarlane line. Yeah. And I want to have Sabak. I want I definitely want Hawkman. I want Fate. But I do have a Doctor Fate toy, so it wouldn't be horrible if I didn't get him. Because I have the Injustice to Doctor Fate from McFarlane. But I would like to have Doctor Fate. And I really would like to have Hawkman too. Which is a hard which is a hard uh look to top. It is. When it comes to Dr. Fate, I mean, they're all very similar, um, but I don't know. I, this one's really freaking cool. It is. So I would definitely and I would definitely like to have both of them. So Sabak looks straight up like the, the most recent comic book version. Mm hmm. I mean, he. Maybe in this, the red's a little too smooth, or he looks a little too CG with not enough muscle texture, but I don't know. It doesn't bother me. Amon's wearing his cape. Give him, give him wind. Paint with those colors. Uh, you know, of course I appreciate, um, of course I appreciate special effects that look, um, better than others, mm -hmm. but I also understand that they are special effects and, you know, it's, you're trying to create something real out of something fake. Right. Like if it's. As long as it's not like god awful and it's like TV budget, like I think it looks good. I'm not I'm not as distracted by um special effects that don't look 100% real. Yeah, me neither. Even on TV, like I understand the budget and they're trying to give us something. So like yeah. even on TV I don't hate it. You know, we're not all James Cameron out here. Yeah, we're we're watching we're we're rewatching Smallville and we're just about to the end of season 4. And so you, there's a lot of special effects um in that show. But it's TV budget, it's 2000 special effects. Um and we're still like, man, that still looks pretty cool. Yeah, most of them hold <laughs> up really well. I just recorded an episode for Always Hold On to Smallville, so I was watching it and I like Recently, and just kind of re-looking at some of it, and I'm like, man, some of it still really holds up. Oh, yeah? Do, did you record your Season 8 episode? Yeah, I, I'm on two episodes in Season 8. I recorded Ooh, my awesome. first episode in Season 8. Excellent. I actually just listened to yours from Season 6. Yeah, the last time I was there. Because Season 7 was short. Stupid writer strike. Yeah. Can't leave trying to, but the bro the world burns. Uh, you know what? That's a fun saying, but I don't know if it works. But Hawkman limping to go upstairs to like a building temple reminds me of Batman eighty nine. It works. Mm -mm -mm. This is yes, it does. Kent's big move right here. Yeah, the Doctor Face. Dr. Fate Sacrifice. See, I, I, I am bubbed. I, I am bummed that he never repping. He never gives us, like, I love just the way that Dr. Fate's done in Young Justice, where he, like, he talks about Naboo. He talks about missing Inya, his wife. 
he hears her calling and everything. Like, it'd been great if we got some kind of Dr. Fate dialogue like that, you know? Like, it is my time. Find another doctor, you know? Like, why? Why? Yeah, that was that was something that they. That was something that they really didn't go with in this uh, version of Doctor Fate is is the Naboo personality, um, like because to varying degrees, Doctor Fate is Kent is possessed by Naboo, like exactly. Naboo is in control to a degree. Like if it's Young Justice, it's a total like it's a total body switch where, where Naboo controls the body and everything Mm -hmm. where the mind, where the person's mind is taking a back seat and just watching, you know? And then there's other versions where like it speaks to him. It talks to him in this. They don't even get into the Naboo personality or anything. It's just, uh, it's just, I see the future. I've seen so many futures and Mm -hmm. stuff. Oh yeah, this is Black Adam's movie. We totally forgot. <laughs> I will admit, I this is one scene I don't really love. I feel like it, it, it takes way too long for everything to happen. Like Doctor like just the whole fact that they just put him in prison. Doctor Fate busts the cuffs, busts him out, and couldn't rip the mask off. The guards are yeah. already there. Like, the guards are already there beating up on a 5,000-year-old dude whose muscles probably has issues because, you know, he hasn't really used his own body in a long time. But you can be this world sailor. I mean, this would have almost been a cooler, like, this would have been an awesome breakout scene. But, like, the way he's fighting these dudes, like, it's too long of just of Teth Adam fighting. He was an already an old weak f- dude. Like we saw how busted up he was. So for him to be like whipping these soldiers like this, yeah, visually it's awesome looking, but it's I just not buying. It. I I just wonder if there wasn't something in the in the edit that these were two different scenes. That the escape didn't what? come out. What? Uh, didn't come at the same time as this. Ginny is Ginny is looking at me. What? See, but here he's getting shot. You think he could have done that? Being that, like, he's supposed to be an old dude. That's how. And look, he didn't even rip his mask off right there. He should have ripped his mask off and said, "Shazam!" Then floated to the surface, holding his breath. But look how long it's taken him. He takes it off now in the middle of water and keeps swimming. Right. And pulling that out of your throat, that's going to hurt. You're going to take in a lot of water, pulling that out of your throat underwater. But look how B.A. Dr. Fate is right here. Of course, the hellfire of Sabak. Interesting how it leaves the pentagram star. Why is he running up the stairs and not using his wings? Hawkman. Oh, look, that's that shot from that other movie we like. Remember, James? That other movie? Oh, dang. Looks like he, like, punched through him. Oh, can't. Down falls the helmet. What if a mom would have grabbed the helmet and put it on? That would have been an awesome twist. 
And there Sabak sits on the throne with his big fire light in the sky to release the old ones like in Hellboy. So what is Sabak's plan right here? This is a cool... I mean, this movie visually is awesome. Some, some really great just cinematic shots. Okay, so he's... The zombie part was definitely a twist I didn't see coming. But it gives the people of conduct something to do. But did not see the zombies coming. I mean, I guess you're going to fight uh, zombies with a lead pipe. You can do better than swinging a stick, James. I know you can hear uh -huh. me, James. No way. <laughs> no way. This definitely threw me in the theater, dude. Look, all this stuff's going on while he floats to the surface. Unlike if he had just said it while he was on the base and then shot up to the water. Oh, there's his family. Harut. His wife with perfect teeth for back then. <laughs> That's funny. Dad, you you look a lot like leaner. You look stronger. Hey, small group of people in conduct. I'll stand up here and give you the diamond cutter. Which I'm surprised in 5,000 years that that means anything. Yeah. I mean. Like, I mean, I guess the, from from the, the old symbol with the three, like, what look to be mountains or triangles over each other, kind of like her necklace. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to think of something to relate it to. So I'll just stand here and give the symbol. I'll give the symbol. Janine's not even looking at me. <laughs> Say the words. Shazam. Oh, don't destroy the statue of Harut. That's what I'm saying right there would have been an awesome scene if a mom would have put the helmet of fate on. And became the new Doctor Fate. Yeah. I mean Amon is is Osiris. Yeah. Somebody else. And then there he is. I I do like the dark suit, but I like this suit. I guess I like the cape. And like there, like if you want to notice how the lightning bolt went back to like the old, like it was how it works differently than it looks cool. It's just, yeah, I mean, I think it looks really cool. I, I'm not saying that it, like, it didn't. Um, Let's end this. Like, I just kind of, I kind of liked how the early suit looked. Um, it did look very rough and of its time. This one kind of looks like modern, but a mix of what the old one was. And I do like the stark contrast of all the gold to the black. Yes. But in the same breath, it looks like it's the same suit with just elements spray painted gold. So, 
But I do like the fact that he can be hurt by Sabak. How do you like tell people, like, hey, let's uh let's run around the corner and fight a bunch of zombies with clubs yeah. and pipes? Right. <laughs> if you're lucky you got a crowbar or a tire iron. Mm-hmm. But I think some people come around this this corner with like uh Like, what is that? What is that even, that one that he's carrying? Like, guy's got a cane. (laughs) Sabak. See, that's cool right there, how it has the two eyes in the helmet. You know, he's holding the helmet next to him, I think it's pretty sweet. All the multiple Hawkman attacking Sabah. Yeah, but I like how the eyes light up. I do like that it's Hawkman and Black Adam working together. And then Adam Smasher's over there stepping on zombies. And then she's winding it up. She really breaks wind, man. <laughs> Come on, got some with a skate with a skateboard. This is pretty intense, though. Like, <clears throat> and grabs him by both of his horns. And now you know Hawkman's like, you have to, you have to kill him. This whole time I've been telling you not to kill. Now I'm like, kill. <laughs> Her powers are so cool, though. It's just like she's dancing Dude, on the this wind. Is intense. Like the fact he like ripped him in half. Like that's you that's can control it. Intense. You have to. <laughs> the way he nails his his uh, mm, Doctor Fate's poor helmet. His his call line his uh catchphrase <laughs> give him a handshake hawk man come on it's just the red beam in the sky never thought i'd th- be happy to see you from like 15 minutes ago when i dropped you off in prison that's cool I want a Dr. Fate replica helmet. Why, why can't I find one? Okay. This made no sense. The helmet, like, disintegrating? That's a little frustrating. Kind of a weird line. It's his darkness that lets him do what heroes like you cannot. Hmm. I think you can keep him out of trouble. You made a great team, young man. <laughs> Don't push it, Smasher. Come on, dude. He just wants friends.
So here he is sitting on the throne, which I think is an awesome shot. And it should have ended here. See, I think he it should have he should have just like in the comics, like he should have ruled. He should have kept on the throne and said he was gonna rule Kondok. The inner gang is gone. Right. I thought he Yeah. T Teth Adam is an old fashioned. Needs something a little different. Like what? Black Adam. He at least said it. You know what I'm saying? Like. Because it was kind of crazy. Like the whole movie, you're like, no one has ever said Black Adam. These are cool credits. Well, that was intense, fun. Poor James and the internet. You never can tell, guys. You never can tell. Dwayne Johnson. Aldous Hodge. Or oldest Noah Centennial. Sarah Shy. Shai Hai, Shai Hai, Marwan Kinzari, Quintessa Swindell, that's a dope name, Bodhi Sabangier, huh, I wonder if his father is Patrick Sabangier, Muhammad Ahir, James Gustav Moyer, Pierce Brosnan, a New Line Cinema presentation, Seven Bucks Flynn Picture Co. Production. James Colette Sarah. Or I may Colette Sarah. I just missed James. That's why I said James. It's sad without him. Black Adam. Oh! post credit scene. James. Black Adam's walking down. Probably be hanging out there. Like, there's nowhere to sit. Favor people a favor.
Dang, that was awesome. Well, that's the end of the movie. I have lost James. The movie is one hour and 57 minutes with the post credit scene. So a little under two hours. And, and uh, there we go. So I hope everyone enjoyed this. I will edit this up. And have a great and wonderful time. We're going to press pause and hear a few words from our other podcast on Press Play Podcast Network. Hello, Brooks here with the Books with Brooks monthly book club podcast. Here's how Books with Brooks works. We read one book a month and then we talk about it. Classics like Stephen King's The Shining, debut novels like If You Are the Brennan by Tracy Lang, and tons of other compelling, life-changing stories. One book and one month at a time. So come read along with us and then listen in. The Superboy Legacy Podcast. All-star superfans. Superman the Animated Podcast. The Aspiring Kryptonians. Always Hold On to Smallville. The Geek of Steel. And Truth justice and hope remember to check out krypton report on all social media platforms go to linktree.com slash krypton report you find out all of our information one dollar a month you'll get extra special content that you don't get on the main show like movie commentaries and whatever else comes out of our mouths so check it out patreon.com slash krypton report this is dan jurgens and if you want to have a good time keep listening to the krypton report Look up in the sky. We just want to say, if you've enjoyed this podcast, please check out other podcasts on the Press Play Podcast Network.